Hi my lovely friendly friends, it's Deanna here today and today we're working on the straight fit board shorts pattern. I'm super excited about this. It's got so many options of all different kinds of pockets um, and it is very super cool. So let's get started. <music> All right, friends, so we're gonna start with our pockets and what we're going to do first, now I'm gonna tell you right now, you're looking at my pocket and you're thinking, what is going on here? So I did not have enough of my main fabric to do my whole pocket lining. Um, and this is the part that will show, like if you place your pocket bag on, front, on top of it, this is the part that will show right here. So I kind of, I wanted this to be the same material that I'm making my shorts with. So I had a little bit left, so I just patched it on there. That's why you see just half, just a little bit. That's all I had left of my fabric. So anyway, I'm making it work. So what you're going to do is, if you see your pocket lining pattern piece, you have these two little dots right here. And those little dots are where you're gonna put your eyelets for if you're making, when you're making swim bottoms, you want the water to drain out of your swimsuit when you go in the water. You don't want the pocket to fill up with water. So that's why the eyelets are four. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your fabric or up to the wrong side and add some little scraps of interfacing just iron them on or however you attach them or even just fabric um, on there to give it stability and uh, for, for uh, when you put the eyelets and then you're gonna install eyelets or buttonholes or whatever you want to do to give a little hole right there so they'll drain these I'm not making I'm making them with a cotton material so they're not going to go in the water per se so I am not making those little eyelet things on there that's why I'm not doing that step but that's what you do first all right so we're gonna go ahead and grab our front of our shorts as you can see this is the crotch line and this is the pocket seam and you can see that by placing your pocket right on top, it fits correctly on this side, the outer side, but it does not fit correctly on the crotch side. So make sure that it fits correctly. If it doesn't, then it's not meant to be there. And we're gonna place it right sides together. I know you can't tell with this fabric which one's the right and the wrong side, but we're doing it right sides together. I am using, for this pattern, you can use, we're gonna do that on both, you can use the board short fabric or I am just using a woven, like a cotton woven fabric that I had. This was actually a top that it was a few sizes too big for me and I actually was able to cut out um, the pattern, most of it from this top. So I was super excited because it's got that beach theme. So I'm excited about it. Um, so that's why I have patchwork everywhere. So now we're gonna go ahead and sew right here at that raw edge to connect the pockets. All right, now we're going to turn it and flip it to the back, your pocket, and we're going to steam it right here, that curve, and we can go over there and top stitch it on your sewing machine or your cover stitch. Since you're using a non-stretch fabric, you can just top stitch it on your sewing machine. Be easy, easy peasy. Just top stitch that curve right there. Because of my fabric being so light, um, I wanted to show you a closer view. This is my back side of my front. This is my pocket lining. And here comes my pocket right on top. And we wanna match up. So the right side of my pocket is facing, the, is touching the right side of the lining. So you wanna match those together. You wanna make sure that the raw edges at the outside and the top are even. And then we're gonna go ahead and sew this outer, this inside seam bag right here. Sew them together. If you flip it over, you don't wanna sew the shorts at all. You're just sewing the pocket right around it. All right, now that our pocket is sewn around the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and when we go over to the sewing machine on our next step, we can go ahead and baste stitch the top and the side of our shorts so that they don't flip under or anything like that when we're trying to sew them together later. So we can top stitch those sides and that top. This is what it looks like right now. See what I meant by adding that little piece right there because you can see that. You cannot see like the bottom of it so it's okay that it's not, the whole thing is not that. But I just wanted that to be the same. I mean, maybe you don't care but I was like, 
I want it to be the same. Okay, now we're gonna grab our fly and we're gonna grab interfacing. We're gonna place it on one of them and I'm giving it a good steam to attach it on. I don't know what your interfacing manufacturer uh, thing tells you to do, but this is what I am doing with mine. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab them and put them both pieces right sides together and we're going to sew them together around the curved edge. So around that edge, just sew them right sides together. And I'm gonna go base the bottoms as well. All right, now we can grab our fly and we can use like little tiny clipping scissors and we can just clip along right here without cutting your, don't cut your thread to kind of take some of the bulk off. Um, you can trim your seam allowance or you know whatever you want to do right here to get that bulk out. And then turn it right side out and give it a good steam. Steamy to steam. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and grab our left, wearer's left. So this is the right, I want this one. <laughs> trying to figure out which one's the left. And then we're gonna grab our fly and we're gonna place it right at that seam at the top. See how it's flush with the, over here with the top line. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew it on. Now, you are going to go ahead and finish off that whole raw edge of the crotch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and sew it all the way down with a serger. So we'll be attaching that fly and finishing off the raw edge of that crotch seam. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish the raw edge of my other side as well. All right, so we're gonna open up our flap or our fly and we're gonna attach um, half of the hook and loop. So here's the one side, here's my other side, which we're gonna save for the other side of your shorts. And I'm gonna sew it 3 eighths of an inch away from the top, just in there. I'm gonna pin it and then sew it all the way around to attach it. After we do that, then we're going to fold that fly under to the wrong side. and we're going to top stitch it around. So we're gonna go over and top stitch all the way around. So I'm just gonna tell you right now because I wanna go ahead and do it right after I'm done so that way you can see the row of top stitches. Now with mine, because I can kind of see it through the fabric, I can do it from the top, but if you can't do it from the top, if you wanna grab um, like a marker or something, or chalk, sorry, probably something that's gonna come off, and just mark where your fly is. Um, if you put it like this, and then you kind of mark where your fly ends, and then draw like a little line underneath it, beside it, or whatever you wanna do to mark that, and then top stitch just on the inside. You can do one or two lines, whatever you wanna do. So. Let's do those two things. One or two rows, it's up to you. Look at me forgetting to tell you, we also wanna sew it across the front. Top stitch it right here across the front. So we're basically going all the way around, except for the top part. All right, here's my underfly. I'm going to place interfacing on the one side of it. Then I'm going to fold it wrong sides together. And I'm going to sew these two raw edges right here. Let me just go sew that real quick. All right, now we're gonna grab these little trimmer things and trim those corners. That way they're not so bulky. And we're gonna turn it right side out. Now, I was going to finish my crotch seam for my other side, but I didn't, whoops. So that's okay, because what I can do is I can go ahead and finish this raw edge and finish this raw edge, because then we're going to attach these two together. But I am just gonna go for it. The reason why you should go ahead and finish the raw edges first is because this kind of turns a little bit. So you have to be careful with that when you're sewing it on, if you're gonna do it all at once, like I am doing. So we're gonna sew this one onto that other crotch seam. 
All right, now I'm gonna flip that out and realize that I sewed it upside down. A little, my little man is flipped upside down. Doesn't matter. You won't be able to see that. That's gonna be on the inside. Don't worry about it. Don't get all worked up. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're gonna put them kind of together, my flaps, because you can see this is what's gonna Velcro together. So we're gonna grab the other side and we're gonna place it so that it's even with the front one and they're gonna fit together when you close it and open it, okay? I'm gonna place it right there, pin it and go sew it all the way around. Alrighty, so now we're gonna place our, both our fronts, we're gonna place, this is my right side, the one with the square rectangle, the square rectangle, the rectangle-ish, and this is the one with my fly, my under fly and my regular fly, my squarish rectangle, my rounded rectangle. And then we're going to place them right sides together, right here. And we're going to sew the crotch seams together, so underneath the fly. Whoop. So let's place them together. Okay, and there's my fly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew them together, like all the way up to the fly. So this is kind of up here out of the way. So we're gonna sew all the way up to when we get right here to the fly right here. And we're going to, if you wanna tack, go back and forth right here in this corner to just make sure that it's really tacked on. So we're gonna go all the way up to that stitch right there. So let's sew that on. All the way up to right there. All right, so I wanna start right here at the fly just because I want to make sure I get that nice right there. So I'm going to go and back up. Come on. I'm going to go again. And I'm going around, around that, those two fronts. All right, so right here at the end of the crotch, you can kind of snip that don't cut your stitches just kind of snip right there and where you baste it and then when you open it up it's gonna be just like this and now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go from the other side and I'm gonna steam this seam down towards the left side of the wearer I've got all these little threads that got cut right here don't need them all okay and then we're going to steam it open and then we're gonna go around the back and top, up around the front and top stitch. So then we'll top stitch down and all the way down. Now, if you want to, right here where they meet, I'm going to go ahead and do a back stitch right here so it doesn't come apart right here. So I'm gonna do it where they, to, where they meet, so at a bar tack. So just kind of like back and forth, back and forth right here. I think I got some makeup on, I don't know. Back and forth, back and forth right there. All right, our front is done. I love it. I think it's looking really, really neat, really nice. Make sure that there's no gap right there. If you do have a gap, go back and top stitch that or zigzag, do something like to make it close up um, so it looks nice and even. Then now we're gonna attach our backs. So I'm gonna grab my side seam right here and I'm going to go ahead and place my one leg, the coordinating leg right sides together at that raw edge, pin and sew. Make sure you finish those raw edges. So if you do it with a straight stitch, make sure you finish it with a zigzag stitch or with a um, serger or something like that so that they're nice and finished. I'm gonna sew that side and then we're gonna do the same for the other side. Then we'll come back and steam it open steaming the seam towards the back, and then top stitching it. Make sure you match those notches at the bottom, which is gonna help you with hemming later, and all these raw edges. Steam towards the back, and top stitch. 
Alrighty, time for cargo pocket. Now I'm not going to be adding a cargo pocket, mostly because I didn't have enough fabric um, and I wanted it to much match, but also um, I think I'm gonna just omit them on this one, but that's, um, you can go ahead and add them or if you don't wanna add them, you don't have to, but I wanna go ahead and show you how you add these pockets. Now, what I'm doing right now is that I'm tracing the pocket, the lines on the pocket. Now, that middle line, that just shows the middle of the pocket, so you don't really have to trace that one. So I'm tracing the other six lines. This is a water-soluble marker, so this will um, erase once it's washed. So you can mark it however you want to mark it. If you don't want to mark it with a marker or something like that, that's fine. You can mark it with whatever you have. So let's say that we're marking these lines. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And so the markers are just to help you fold them along where they're gonna go. So we're gonna pinch three and we're gonna fold over at that second line to match up to the first line. So I'm gonna show you again. We pinch three, we fold on the second line so you could technically just fold on that second line like this and come back on that third line. So it's the same thing. You grab the third line, pinch it, come up to the first line. So you've got that folded edge at the bottom. We can pin that down or clip it down. Then we're gonna grab number four, that first line, pinch it up, fold number five in, and over here to number six. So this is what this front part looks like. And if I turn it around, this is what the back looks like. Those two pieces are matching together right there. Can you see that? So now we're gonna go ahead and give it a good steam. I'm just removing my clips so that I can give it a good steam, but I'm gonna put them back on. I'm gonna show you again, if I go to open it, like this, see that? Here's my number two, and my number four, three, five, and my number fives, see how they're like, goes in towards the center, okay? So now we're gonna baste up here and down here, so you just go to your sewing machine, and you put a basting stitch, which will keep them together. Then you're going to figure out where you want to put your enclosure. Do you want to put your, um, where are you gonna, we're gonna go on this side. Where are you going to put your, on the right side, your um, hook and loop. So wherever you're gonna put that, you need to make sure that you put some interfacing to the wrong side, right here. And then also some interfacing here where you're gonna add your little, um, your little, uh, uh, not like your little grommet or your little, I can't think of the word. What is the word? The little thing that has the little hole and is a little circle where you can put the, so the water will flow out of it just like we did on our other pocket. I mean on our, uh, yes, on our pocket. Or you can do a buttonhole or whatever because remember that you don't want the water to puddle into your pocket. So we put the interfacing on this side and then on the right side, this is the right side right here, you would stitch your hook and loop and you would only go do you know stitch the one side so we're gonna stitch it all the way around okay so let's I'm gonna pretend that I stitched it here's my one piece I stitched and here's the other piece I stitched and you all know I already basted with this a long straight stitch and here's my little circle thing whatever it's called I can't remember all right so that's prepped now we're gonna do the top all right, so now here's our cargo pocket facing, and we're gonna go ahead and attach some interfacing to it first, which I'm not, because again, I'm, I'm, this is just a pretend to show you how to do it. Uh, and then we're going to sew up the raw edge of the bottom, the bottom raw edge. So I'm gonna go just do that. So now that bottom raw edge is finished, and I'm gonna go ahead and place that facing right on top of my pocket, right sides together. And what we're going to do is we're going to sew up, over, down. So we're gonna sew that top facing on. All right, so here's our pocket. 
as you can see the facing is sewn now you can go ahead and trim those corners and then once you do that you're gonna flip it so that the facing is on the inside on the back side then we're gonna go ahead and give it a good steam steaming these seams in Whoop. So now your pocket is basically ready to add on. Remember, there's Velcro here. I didn't go high up enough because I was just kind of faking it, but you want to make sure that you go high up enough so that your little hole area, I still can't remember the name, is not all the way cut in the seam allowance. You need to go up high enough. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our pant or shorts, and we're going to open them up, and we're going to position that pocket so that the middle of the pocket, which is that middle piece right there, see how that opens up right there? It's right at the middle of our shorts. And we gotta go an inch and a half above the raw hemline. So you measure an inch and a half up. And then we can go ahead and attach our pocket. So we're gonna sew down the sides and over down over up making sure you do bar tacks at the sides so that they don't come the pockets don't come undone all right cargo pocket flaps we've got two right here you would go ahead and put your interfacing on it on the one and then we're going to put them right sides together and we're going to sew all the way around just leaving one little gap here I want a two inch gap to flip it all right side out. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew all the way around it. All right, now we're gonna, where that gap is, well right now you could trim those corners um, and then flip it right side out using whatever tool you would like to poke out those corners nice and sharp. And then we're going to go ahead and just tuck in that seam allowance in there and steam it nice and straight and flat. All right, now we're going to grab, here is the wrong side of the fabric, wrong side, and this will be the right side. I'm going to write that on there so you all can see it better. So we grab our pocket, and this is the right side of my pocket that's already stitched on, quote unquote. And so then what we're going to do is we're first we're going to put the wrong side of our pocket up. Well, first we're going to go and top stitch all the way around our pocket flap. So you can go ahead and top stitch that real quick. One or two lines, whatever you want. Let's just pretend it's already top stitched. Then we're going to go ahead and place the pocket wrong side up on. And we're going to feel through where our uh, hook and loop is. And then we're gonna feel it and say, here it is. So I'm gonna mark it, or you know, you can go ahead and put it right on there. And the way, the reason we do that is so that you know, wherever you attach the one side, you want to attach the other side so they stick together. So now I'm gonna put my hook and loop the the next portion on there and just sew it right on there. Okay. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and turn it, and stick it. Stick it to my hook and loop. Okay, now remember you have to have a little piece up here. You don't, you, you, remember I told you when you're doing the hook and loop, I hope I told you, it has to go down. It can't be right at the edge. It has to go down a little bit. And then you have to be, you have to have a little bit of space down here for it to, for us to sew that pocket on, okay? So now what we're going to do is once that's on there, then we're gonna go over to our sewing machine and top stitch it on. Remember to do bar tacks right here, back and forth, back and forth, go straight, back and forth, back and forth, and our pocket, our cargo pocket is on, as you can see. Actually, it would not have been that bad to do a pocket this color, would it? I don't know. I kinda wanted to leave it neat and simple. Anyway, tell me what you think I should have done, because I can still do it. All I have to do is just put the stuff on, do the little circle, whatever. Still can't remember what it's called. Sew it on and then do the flap. Let me know below in the comments what you think I should do. Should I put it on or should I leave it off? All right, let's move on to the next step. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and grab our shorts, our back pieces, and we're gonna put our back pieces right sides together 
at that crotch seam and we're gonna sew that curve, crotch curve right here, right sides together. Now we're gonna go ahead and open it up and we're gonna steam it to our wearer's right. So it's this way. I'm trying to think in my head which one is the right. <laughs> and then we're gonna go over to our sewing machine and top stitch it. And you can do one or two lines, whatever you wanna do, we're just gonna stitch along that seam right there. And we're also, once we're over there, we're gonna grab our inseam right here. We're gonna match our crotch and we're gonna go down one side and down the other. So just down and over, sewing that together. All right, our shorts are basically pretty much all done. So now that we did that inseam as well, we can steam that inseam towards the back of the shorts and top stitch it. All this top stitching gives it such a nice, like ready to wear look, uh, and it helps to also keep it together, um, so it lasts, wears longer, and so it's just a neat way to give it some really nice finishes. So let's do that. You can do, I'll try to do all of it at once, or you can do like one leg stop and then the other leg, depending on how easy it is to maneuver on your sewing machine. I was able to do all of it in one fell swoop. Waistband. We are getting so close to finishing. I can almost taste it. Are you excited? I am excited. I'm excited because this is looking so good. So good. All right, so we're putting interfacing to one side, the one half of the waistbands. So, you know, it's like, uh, cut lengthwise, but the width is shorter is the half and so we're gonna go ahead and add the interfacing to all of them back and front waistbands Then we're gonna grab our waistband put it face up and we're gonna want this is my back waistband I'm gonna grab my front waistbands and match the raw edges here at the each side that raw edge on each side and we're going to go ahead and sew those together with a straight stitch. I'm just gonna go over there and do a straight stitch on both of those. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and open them and steam that seam allowance open. All right, so now for the where the interface side is, we're gonna go ahead and fold it 3 eighths of an inch. We're just folding it in to give it this crease, which will help later when we are closing our waistband in. All right, so now we're gonna grab our shorts and we're gonna place them on our board and we're gonna start from the back, placing it, placing the back of the band right sides together. So I can go ahead and just fold it in half and find my half of my back band and that will go to the back. It should fit just right. So you probably don't even have to do that because you can just go from the sides and go from there. But I'm just gonna meet right here, pin and go all the way to that seam from one side and then do the same on the other side and then turn it and come towards the front. All right, so right sides together and we're gonna go all the way down and I just realized that I put the facing on the wrong side. As you can see now, when I flip this over, my little surfing bodies are gonna be upside down, but that's okay. Just let me just give you some advice figure it out beforehand, <laughs> unlike me. All right, so you'll have a little bit of overlap here at the end and that's fine because once it's sewn together, we're going to close it up. So we wanna make sure that we have that little bit of extra that will get sewn together anyway. So let's go sew that. All right, so we've sewn it. Here it is, we're gonna turn it up. And then we're gonna flip our waistband right sides together right here. And right at that raw edge right there where they finish up, at that flush raw edge, we're gonna sew straight up and sew those together, right sides together. Just making sure they're all lined up. My interfacing's kinda, they didn't stick all the way. I need to make sure I stick that down really good. But there it is. 
and then do the same on the other side. You flip it up, right sides together. Make sure your little uh, 3 8 is folded up still. And then we're gonna sew these right sides together right at the edge, go straight up. My interfacing was a little bit longer here, so that's why it's not being very nice. Let's go sew that. All right, friends, the front. I'm gonna go ahead and trim that extra and that little uh, corner off. And then I'm gonna flip my band over. How cool is that? Look, my band. As you can see, my little men are upside down, but that's okay. Learn my lesson for to pay better attention next time. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the back and we're going to go ahead and fold it down and top stitch it. Um, we're only going to do the back because we're going to put that elastic in. So we want to make sure that we have, you know, we, we can put that. So we're moving our seam allowance up, making sure that still that facing part is still facing up. And then we're going to pin and sew. It is better, you know, it looks neater when you top stitch from the right side. So you may want to put your pins on the outside or just make sure you're marking it some way or, you know, if you, you can see your pins from the outside where you're supposed to be sewing. So that way, or sometimes you can do, what you can do is you can use, um, a basting stitch first. You can sew in a basting stitch, which is a long straight stitch on your sewing machine, and see if it catch, if it caught the band, and if it's good, and then go in with a regular stitch, and then pull out the basting stitch. So like right now, I have those. So now I hear it shows me where they are. So anywhere above that will be fine. Um, this one is too high, so I want to go too low. So I want to go up a little bit. I don't know why it was so low. See there? So now I should be able to catch them all, hopefully. There we go. See right there? I should be good. So I'm gonna go top stitch that back band, just the back. All right, I'm gonna grab my elastic now that my back is sewn and I'm gonna fit it through. And I'm just gonna leave a half an inch of overlap here at the one side. All right, there's a half an inch hanging out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just close it, pin it, so that it doesn't go all the way through. And then we'll go over and sew it that seam allowance. Where that seam is right there, we're going to tack it, the elastic down. But we're gonna continue to go all the way to the other side and do the same thing on the other side as well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tack it down. Once the elastic is done, we're gonna to continue to top stitch the front piece, the front band, by doing the same thing that we did to the back. All right, our waistband is basically done and it's looking so good. Now we just need to add our hook and loop so that we'll be able to open it and close it. So you're gonna add one to one side and then the, ah! Don't pin your finger. <laughs> and then the other one to the other side, right on top. I think I'm gonna put this one on the edge on this side. And then I'll probably do this one first because then I want the other one to be like right above it. Kind of like where the same, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll just put it exactly above where the other one is. So that way I know exactly where it's gonna go because they're even. So I'm gonna go sew those on and we'll be done with this part. Then we can also go ahead and actually fold in and hem since we're top stitching anyway. We can go ahead and fold our hem and hem it. I'm so excited, this is looking so good. And then our waistband add-on. I am not doing waistband add-on because 
Um, these are more like uh, whatever shorts, but these are the ones that like if you're doing a um, board short, uh, this will be really, really nice because they're the ones where you put the straps through. Really cute. We're gonna fold them after we put the interfacing on. We're gonna fold them right sides together and we're going to sew the top and the bottom raw edge. We're leaving, this is the fold right here. We're leaving this side open, but we're sewing that one and that one shut. Now, if you didn't want this, this little tag, to show on the outside, you could attach the the uh, this hoop and loop like on the one side of your waistband and not on the other side, like before you sew your waistband closed. So then that way you don't have to see this little rectangle I'm gonna make right now. All right, so trim all your little pieces threads and your they're basically that waistband is closed right there and then with this little one we're gonna go ahead and trim those corners now I'm only doing one because like I said I'm not actually doing them I'm just showing you how to do them but you would do put both flip them right side out then we'd go over and top stitch this all the way around and finish off that raw edge however you want to finish it off i'm going to do it with the serger now for the hem i said i was going to go hem but since this is a woven i'm going to go and give it a serge edge finish off this hem and i already folded it a half an inch so i'm going to finish it off and then i'm going to fold it back up and top stitch it at the same time that i do this right here so let's do both of them All right, friends, we are basically done. All we've got left to do is if you're working with the little touches, you're gonna make uh, the eyelets, I figured out the name, uh, holes right here, one and two. I'm gonna mark a little, X marks the spot. We'll do eyelet one and two. Then we'll steam this seam down and we're going to attach it to our waistband like so. Here's one, we are gonna attach it to that seam right there. Sew it right over that seam. And then you'll be over and then top stitch and then you have another one on this side. You have your eyelets, you put your, uh, whatever you're using, your string, rope. It's not called rope, what is it called? Whatever it's called. Why are all the words escaping me today? I have no idea. Anyway, I'm not doing that, but that is super cute. The reason why I made these for myself, which is fine, um, because I just went with the sizing on the chart uh, for myself, uh, is because I'm going to make a pair for my husband, um, but, and I like that we can both use the same pattern, but he does not like pictures, and I know you all want to see how these fit, so I figured I'd make one for myself, um, just a simple version, and then I'll make a more elaborate version for him, and you probably won't get to see that because he is a party pooper, does not like pictures, does not want to be, have his picture taken and posted. So I said, okay, I'll just make myself a pair then, which I'm happy about because I love these kind of shorts. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't, uh, so you never miss any of, your any of our tutorials. Come find us on Facebook and on Instagram. We have a great community of sewists who share their makes with us and we get inspired by them. But I, we also want to be inspired by you. So come and share your makes with us. I hope you enjoy this and I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next time. Bye. All right, friends, I have to come back and show you just what they look like on. I love this little uh, hook and loop. Um, waistband so easy you could even put a little fake button on there so it looks like you have a button if you want that um i love the pockets i will say though that i forgot to take length off of them um it is drafted for a 510 i'm on 57 so i do have to take a little bit of length off it 
and I forgot. So I'll do that next time. Um, but I think that they look amazing. They look really, really nice. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't. I know I already said this, but I wanted to say it again just in case you haven't. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!